We're going over Hemi's here. Uh, over here, they're first thing to look at. You got an early Hemi, or you got a late Hemi. See the solenoid up here going through? Okay, if it's got this, nothing here, no boss, no hole. You're looking at a DDF3, DDK1, DDH8, or DDH9. Those are the early Hemi's. And then if you got this one over here, you're looking at, at a DDM. Could be two through eight. All right. We're gonna start off with the early guys. All right. We're gonna be sending out a cheat sheet. There's the cheat sheet. Um, it's gonna be a little more efficient than this. This is just where we're starting. And it's gonna have a flow chart exactly how you work your way through it. Now you look here, you know you got an early one. If you got an early one, that means you do not have to pop out the cam cap. See this rear cap back here? That's a grease cap for the rear end of the camshaft. The late ones, you have to pop that out and I'll show you there's nothing to it. It takes a few seconds and you put the right part number on it. Anyway, but on the early ones, you don't have to do that. You're gonna go by whether or not it has power steering pump holes in the head. See here? And ATK has this, but they use a lot of stock photos. So some of them that don't have the holes, they show with holes and vice versa. So it's gonna go whether or not it has that, whether or not it has EGR, see down here? See that? You don't have the EGR valve actually on it, but you can see the soot around it, the carbon buildup. This is an EGR head. That'll be just about a quarter inch deep and perfectly clean if it's a non-EGR head. Okay, and then MDS, which is cylinder deactivation. Get down here, see the solenoids? Okay, that means this does have MDS. It is a cylinder deactivation. If it doesn't have those, it'll have little plugs in there with snap rings, and that's a non-MDS. Now, there's two heights of these solenoids. This one, these are seven eighths of an inch. See right there? Okay, the taller one is about an inch and, inch and a sixteenth. After you've done a few looking for that, you don't have to measure them anymore. You can just look at them and say, well, that's tall, that's short. Um, I'm not sure that's gonna be relevant yet, but I think it's going to be on the DDM4 and the DDM8. I think that's what's gonna make the difference, but I gotta talk to Chris and make sure that's right. Okay, now, 